Gavin Gee here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm here at the 2020 SHOT Show at the Lyman and Mark 7 booth. Yep. Again, I'm talking with Spencer Carroll. Gavin, Thanks, Spencer, thank you. for joining me. Spencer is one of the engineers that works not only on Lyman stuff, but he also works at Mark 7. Yep. And when I was on site, he gave me a tour of what's going on with the evolution and the revolution, but a lot has changed just in a few months since we've talked. Yeah, I kind of hinted at the end of our last video in Middletown that there's yep. some big things coming from SHOT Show, and here it is. We call it Titan. Okay. It takes the revolution and kind of cranks it up even more. Mm -hmm. A lot of our commercial customers, they are not using all 10 stations of the Progressive Press. They're actually breaking down the reloading, usually into press processing, yep. priming, and loading. Right. So we listened to that, and we actually turned the Revolution into the Titan with double feed capability. Mm -hmm. uh, effectively turns the Revolution into two five station progressive presses, effectively doubling your output. The case, This case will come in here, come out here. This case will come in here, come out here. It still runs at the same 3,500 rounds per hour speed, <laughs> but you're cranking out two pieces of ammunition for every cycle of the press, mm -hmm. capable of running 7,000 rounds per hour. So you're taking your investment, which is a big investment in yes. some really high end gear, yep. and you're almost effectively kind of doubling that investment in terms of throughput and output if yep. you if you need five stations or less. Yes, if you need five stations or less, you're breaking up that reloading process. Mm -hmm. This is kind of the great press for you. And also building on this, listening to our customers, this press, just like the Revolution Evolution, is capable mm -hmm. of loading cases up to 308. Mm -hmm. You can process brass a little bigger. You're not putting a bullet head on it. But also we have this now in a five inch stroke. We call it the XL. Mm -hmm. And with that five inch stroke, you can load cases in overall length up to 338 lot board. Now we're talking. So, <laughs> yeah. Listen to our customers. We're really trying to grow the product line. Yeah. We are moving at a pretty fast speed here, but we're really confident that this is really going to change the commercial reloading game. Yeah, it's like boutique reloading on a mega, mega scale. Yeah, mega, mega scale. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We, we think that we, Lyman as a company, we're the people that can bring Mark 7 up yep. to the forefront. Okay, so what's the biggest pain with reloading bulk ammo? Well, Primers, right? Loading your primer tubes. <laughs> yes. So we have a new primer system. Um, it's actually... When you look at it, it's actually kind of an aha moment. You think of your old primer shake trays from mm -hmm. when you're loading your standard primers. Mm -hmm. It takes that, you dump your primers in, it's available to hold three or 400 primers. Wow. It shakes, it orientates the primers, it sends it down to a delivery system and can deliver it either to an evolution press or a revolution press. Um, capable of priming of speeds up to 3,500 rounds per hour. Wow. So it's definitely able, it's able to keep up with any of the presses that we have. Um, good on off sensors, variable speed, depending on large, small brands yeah. of primers, you're able to dial it in really for your reloading experience. Mm. Um, and actually too, just God forbid you do have a primer, it does come upside down every few thousand, you may have one. Yep. Um, it has an induction sensor on it that will actually, on a manual press, it'll sound an audible alarm. Yep. And on an auto drive, it will shut the press off, just like one of our other digital sensors. That's great, because then you don't have to go and find that round of ammunition yep. and either dispose of it or break it down. It's just kind of a pain. We want to stop the problem before it happens. Yeah. Well, that is awesome. So. Mark 7 has taken this totally insane technology and like you said, turned it up to 11. Yep. So what I'd like to know is what do you guys think about this? Please drop a comment and I'm planning where I can to get as much of this content onto the channel, much of this equipment onto the channel, new products as possible. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're gonna wanna catch that content and also all the other SHOT Show 2020 content that I got coming up. Thanks Spencer for as joining always, me. Thank you very much. Awesome, until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. See you later guys.